They're not that different. At the DNC, in her acceptance speech, Kamala Harris bragged about how she wants to have the most lethal military in the world. What does that mean? It means spending even more and more on the most expensive military in the world, which the U.S. allocates more money for its own military than so many other countries do combined. And Trump is in lockstep with that as well. He also bragged about how he, so, uh, he supposedly rebuilt the military and spent more money on it. So when you have both parties committed to militarism, uh, whether it's at the border or it's in the army, and you're willing to funnel tens of billions of more dollars into the military industrial complex, how much money will there be left to address the real problems in this country, the infrastructure that is in badly need of upgrades, all the social services that people across this country really need? Unfortunately, both parties are in lockstep in wanting to fund militarism. Kamala Harris can point to things like her, like, like the Biden administration did put a cap on the price of insulin and other pharmaceutical drug, drugs. That's important. Uh, Trump can't say the same thing. His main legislative achievement, as was discussed, was a tax cut that mostly benefited, I think, himself and his wealthy friends.